Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to start solving exact differential equations. In this part, we will first define what are exact differential equations and what is the condition which makes a given differential equation exact. We will also solve some examples. So let us begin. Given a differential equation mxy dx plus nxy dy is equal to 0, where m and n are functions of two variables x and y, we say that this differential equation is an exact differential equation if and only if the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Now to find the solution, what do we do? We'll say that let f be the solution. And we assume del f by del x is equal to m and del f by del y is equal to n. Now substitute m is del f by del x and n is del f by del y in our differential equation 1. That reduces 1 to del f by del x dx plus del f by del y dy is equal to 0. We can write this as b of f of xy is equal to 0. To find the function f of xy, we'll integrate both the sides and that will give us the implicit solution f of xy is equal to c. We say that the term mxy dx plus nxy dy is exact and the differential equation 1 is an exact differential equation if and only if del m by del y is equal to del n by del x. Let's come to some examples. In the first example, we are asked to solve the differential equation x plus 2 by y dy plus y dx is equal to 0. Now, whenever we are given a differential equation, we will first check what is m and what is l. The function associated with dx is taken to be m and the function associated with dy is taken to be n. In our example, m is y and n is x plus 2 by y. Find the partial derivative del m by del y. We see it comes out to be 1 as your m was y. And del n by del x is del by del x of x plus 2 by y, which is also 1. So del m by del y is equal to del n by del x, which means that our differential equation is an exact differential equation. So now we move on to finding the solution. Start with the assumption del f by del x is equal to m. For us, m was y. So we have del f by del x is equal to y. To find the solution f, if we integrate both the sides with respect to x, we will get f. For us, f will be xy plus gy. Now, why do we take this function of y? because we are not sure whether there are some terms of y also in our solution f. So, we take f is equal to xy plus gy. If you want to check, let's differentiate this f. We'll get del f by del x. I'm differentiating with respect to x. Del f by del x is equal to y plus 0. Had there been some terms of y, they would become 0 on differentiating. So this is something which is unknown. So let's take it as gy. Now we'll move on to our second condition, which is del f by del y is equal to n. So if I differentiate f with respect to y, we'll get x plus g dash y. So why are we doing this? Because we have f in some form here. f is xy plus gy. But we do not know gy, so that has to be found. For that, we are using the second condition. So del f by del y is x plus g dash y. And we will now equate it to n, which was x plus 2 by y. The x term cancels on both the sides and we get g dash y is equal to 2 by y. To find gy, we integrate both the sides with respect to y and that gives us gy is equal to 2 log of y. Take this 2 as a power of y, we get gy is equal to log y square. If I substitute this gy here, we'll get the solution f. 
So our solution becomes xy plus log y square is equal to c. In the second example, the differential equation is sin x tan y plus 1 dx cos x x square y dy. m is sin x tan y plus 1, n is cos x x square y. Now if I differentiate m with respect to y, we get the partial derivative as sin x x square y. And del n by del x comes out to be minus sin x x square y. They both are not equal. They differ by a minus sign. So del m by del y is not equal to del n by del x. And the method which we used in our example 1 to find the solution cannot be used here. So we will have to wait for how such differential equations are solved. We will move on to example 3. Solve y plus y cos xy dx plus x plus x cos xy dy is equal to 0. Here m is y plus y cos xy and n is x plus x cos of xy. Del m by del y is equal to 1 plus cos of xy minus xy sine of xy, which is the same as del n by del x. If you differentiate n with respect to x, we get the same thing, which means del m by del y is equal to del n by del x and our differential equation is an exact differential equation. Now start with del f by del x is equal to m. m was y plus y cos of xy. Integrate both the sides. We get f is equal to xy plus sin xy plus gy. So just see here when I integrate y with respect to x we are getting yx. And when we integrate cos of xy with respect to x, we will get y into sine of xy upon y. That y gets cancelled plus gy. Now, we use the second condition, del f by del y is equal to n. For that, we, in, we are going to differentiate 3 with respect to y. We get del f by del y is equal to x plus x cos xy plus g dash y. Equated to n, we see the terms x plus x cos xy cancel on both the sides. g dash y is 0. On integration, we get g y is c. If I substitute this, g y is equal to c, we will get a f. So, one thing you should do when I write c here and I equate my function x y plus sin x y plus c is equal to some constant c dash. We'll bring that C on the right and we've just used C as a substitution for C dash minus C. So my F is XY plus sine of XY is equal to C. In example 4, our differential equation is sine X sine Y minus X e to the power Y dy is equal to e to the power Y plus cos X cos Y dx. Now we will take this term on the right hand side. So m becomes e to the power y cos x cos y and n will be minus sin x sin y minus x e to the power y. The partial derivative del m by del y is e to the power y minus cos x sin y and del n by del x is also the same. So it's a it's an di exact differential equation. Find del f by del x which is equal to m integrate both the sides, we get f is equal to x e to the power y plus sin x cos y plus g y. Now use the second condition and find del f by del y and equate it to n. That gives us x e to the power y minus sin x sin y plus g dash y is equal to n which was x e to the power y minus sin x sin y. Now these two terms cancel, we are left with g dash y is equal to 0. Integrate both the sides with respect to y, we get g y is equal to constant. So f becomes x e to the power y plus sin x cos y is equal to c. Come to example 5 where our differential equation is minus 1 by y sin x by y dx plus x upon y square sin x by y dy is equal to 0 m is minus 1 by y sin x by y and n is nothing but x by y square sin by x by y. 
Find the partial derivative del m by del y. It comes out to be 1 by y square sin x by y plus x by y cube cos of x by y. And del n by del x is also the same. So it's an exact differential equation. Take del f by del x is equal to m and integrate both the sides. f comes out to be cos of x by y plus gy. If we find gy, we'll get the solution. For that, we find our gy from del f by del y is equal to n. So find the derivative del f by del y equated to n. That again gives us g dash y is equal to 0. On integration, gy comes out to be c and we get f is equal to cos of x by y is equal to c. In the sixth example, we have the differential equation dx is equal to y upon 1 minus x square y square dx plus x upon 1 minus x square y square dy. We bring this x dx on the right hand side. So when dx is brought to the right hand side, my m becomes y upon 1 minus x square y square minus 1 and n is x upon 1 minus x square y square. Find the partial derivative del m by del y which comes out to be 1 plus x square y square upon 1 minus x square y square whole square and del n by del x is also the same. So this is also an exact differential equation. Now we have to find f. For that del f by del x is taken to be m which was y upon 1 minus x square y square minus 1. We will first write 1 minus x square y square as a product 1 minus x square into 1 plus x y and minus 1. Now we will find the factors. We will use partial fractions and we will write this as y upon 2, 1 upon 1 minus x y plus 1 upon 1 plus x y minus 1. Now, why did we do that? Why did we write the partial fractions? Because integration becomes simpler this way. Now, integrate both the sides with respect to x. This gives us f is equal to half minus log 1 minus xy plus log 1 plus xy minus x plus gy. Differentiate this with respect to y. Equate it to n. We'll see that again the terms will get cancelled on both the sides. We will get g dash y is equal to 0 or g y is equal to constant. Now this gives us f is minus log 1 minus x y plus log 1 plus x y minus 2 x is equal to c. Or when I combine these two terms, we get log 1 plus x y upon 1 minus x y is equal to c. In the seventh question, we are given the differential equation 1 plus y square sine 2x dx minus 2y cos square x dy is equal to 0. m is obviously 1 plus y square sine 2x and n is minus 2y cos square x. Find the partial derivatives del m by del y will be 2y sine 2x and del n by del x will be the same. So it's an exact differential equation. Del f by del x which is equal to m is equal to 1 plus y square sine 2x. Integrate both the sides to get f. This gives us f is equal to x minus y square by 2 cos of 2x plus g by. This f we differentiate with respect to y and equate it to n. This gives us minus y cos 2x plus g dash y is equal to minus 2y cos square x. Now use the identity cos 2x is equal to 2 cos square x minus 1. Simplify, you will see g dash y comes out to be minus y as these terms will get cancelled. Minus 2y cos square x. And on integration, we will get g y is minus y square by 2. Substitute this in our equation 7 we will get f is equal to x minus y square by 2 cos of 2x minus y square by 2 is equal to c. If you want to further simplify, you can take cos of 2x as 2 cos square x minus 1 and you will get the answer also as x minus y square cos square x is equal to c. Just to explain one thing, 
Uh, see, as we had uh, taken GY when we had, uh, you know, formed our F, I said GY can be a function of Y. You can see here, this is our GY. In the question number 8, we have to find the value of n for which the differential equation x y square plus n x square y dx plus x cube plus x square y dy is exact. And then we have to find the solution. So we are given a differential equation which in which n is unknown. We have to first find that n such that it becomes exact and then we have to find the solution. m is x y square plus n x square y and n is nothing but x cube plus x square y. For the differential equation to be exact del m by del y should be del n by del x. We will find del m by del y it comes out to be 2 x y plus n x square and del n by del x is 3 x square plus 2 x y when we equate and solve n comes out to be 3. Put this n in your m. So m becomes x y square plus 3 x square y. Now differentiate this. Uh, we have to find our f. So we will equate del f by del x is equal to m. As m was x y square plus 3 x square y, we get on integrating f is equal to x square y square upon 2 plus x cube y plus g y. Differentiate with respect to y equated to n we'll get g dash y is 0 or on integration g y is equal to c which gives us f is equal to x square y square upon 2 plus x cube y is equal to c. You can further simplify and write the answer as f is equal to x square y square plus 2 x cube y is equal to c. Thank you for watching. I have taken examples for explanation from the book by George F. Simons. For other courses, you can check my website www.profpritibajpay.com. Once again, thank you for watching.